Hello everybody, welcome to Short Bangers, I'm Mai. Good evening, I'm Colin. How's, How's it going? Alright, alright. I feel like I, I rushed back for, uh, for work tonight, so quality bit of road rage on the, the way back as well. So I'm at Cannon Mills, right? come out of the office, turn right uh, up towards uh, Dundas Street. And it's the first set of traffic lights you come. There was a golf and then a guy on a moped who guy looked small on the moped, like no very intimidating. But as I pulled out uh, the, the the street where my office is, they were coming in the lights at the at Karen Mills. And I think the what I understand to have happened was the golf drivers beeped his horn at the boy on the moped. Older okay. guy. Uh, so the golf pulls up the lights next to me, I'm turning right. Uh, to go along, I think it's Henderson Road it is. Yeah. He's going straight up. Motorcyclist pulls up alongside him. I can really, really close thumps his window in that. Say, uh, who are you fucking people are holding out your fucking dick? And I was like, <laughs> pointing up <at> you. Yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so the, the, the boy got angry and angry. He's like shouting away and everything. But my favourite bit of it, because the guy, the guy in the golf just doesn't react at all. He's just like, Whatever, mate. Yeah. Just sitting there, and if I went, I'm a fucking moped. Are <laughs> you? Is that the like that? What's that thing when that you see? They bring it every now and again. It's the boy that uh, Ronnie Pickering. Name? Uh, Ron, Ronnie Ron, Ronnie Pickering. Hi. My name. I'm Ronnie Pickering. Who? Aye. Are <laughs> it's you? Like, sounds a bit like that. Aye. I've never heard of you. Oh, fuck <laughs> you yeah. did, this aye. one I had. Uh, you, what should be? You, you didn't get involved in Rodri, eh? Yeah? Like you've said that before, but. Um, can that bit of, uh, I was going to say the big W, but you know what I mean? You come down for Asda, Aye. and then it's the range, I think, now. Aye. And you've got the lights, and kind of it's a left only to go along Milton Road mm-hmm. towards Pori High and that. Um, but everybody nips down there because the guy are sitting in the queue. Aye, they try to go in further up. Had an order. So I was going down there on Friday afternoon, about a year ago, and uh, this car decided to try and chop in front of me. Just in the ladder, eh? Like, it just, uh, no. Went fucking mental at me, as if it was my fault. Like, Aye, the, obviously. they were in the wrong lane. Yeah. Right? No, my fault, eh? Raging, tooting a horn, like, sitting on the horn behind me and that, eh? And I was like, so I just slowed down. Yep. Right? Did slow down even me. Obviously, I'm in a hurry, eh? So I'll just fucking slow down. <laughs> Tried to overtake me on that over the side of the road and you know it's like once you're like if you go oh, too aye. far you're stranded eh aye aye you're fucked there yeah. uh-huh. so like obviously sped back up <laughs> 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 to leave us stranded fuck me she came pull back in she was going fucking mental thought about it again at the speed camera and no room to get past eh I'm, there was a boy in a van behind her and he was looking as if to say get out uh-huh. and shoot. if she could she would have got out and Stabbed me, shot me, whatever. Like, Aye. it's fucking ridiculous. I went away along the road. So I was going to Easter Road that day, actually. Mm-hmm. So I went down that way and along, along there. And we went over, straight over at Seafield, I think. Um, and that was, that was the end. And I thought, fucking hell. And, like, I'm again, I'm, no, I've never done anything wrong, legally, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Um, like, I was never over the speed limit or on the wrong side of the road or anything like that. Morally, good question. But like, like I, I'm thinking, like, I start thinking, what, what did I do? Like, what could I have done differently? And I could have just let her in. Aye. I suppose. Or let her overtake me. Um, but I thought, well, fucking maniac. It was, it was Friday lunchtime. It wasn't even like, you know, you think, how much of a hurry can you be in? Like, Aye. three, five minutes early, eh? Mental. There's a bad road for that one. Okay, my mum telling us uh, a story about it about a year ago as well, where she was she she she'd gone in the wrong lane and she was just wanted to try to pull in, and this company let her in, her, and she ended up behind them and she peeped the horn to say, "Can, can you move?" And, uh, I came on though. It wasn't even that I never let her in. It was that. Like I never even, I, I was paying attention, because I always pay attention to it, because I'm always suspecting, oh, expecting, sorry, somebody to chop in. But there was no room for it. It wasn't like I've closed a gap and mm-hmm. shut it off. It was like, it just couldn't have happened. 
and then it was Aye. a reaction that made me then do do what I done. Like there wasn't, any, um, but it was like it's just mental. But hands all the time doing that because I'm doing that. I'll be doing it in the morning again, once night, and even at half six, quarter to seven at night when I'll be doing there, it'll be it'll be the same. Aye, oh, it's uh, just... no matter what, it's because I think the outside lane. Half it turns right along past the King's Manor and that, and then the straight on over Sir Harry Lauder. So that that queue tails back because yeah. the volume of traffic they go there. And you can even see because I go I go left there. I'm going to put it high on a Friday night, and uh, you can tell when I'm wasn't doing the inside that cars are thinking he's got a fucking job. Oh, I'm I not, trust you. I let them I... think. I let them think I am like I really hang it about like so they. Just to wind them up again, and then I take to the left and go around. But sometimes you can take the left and go around the swing a quick Uri anyway, and sit at the other side. Aye. Side. Or you go along the lights, uh, uh, you know, the crossroads in Middle Road and turn right, and then just go down and, and join the road, sort of uh, Portobello end. Go through the Christians? No, no. Uh, no, no. Or right along and doing. Aye, right along to, aye, to where the, well, used to be a garage, I think, what it still is. Aye, then, and, aye, just after the high school, turn right down there, and aye. then. Park, park, park Avenue. Aye. aye. Uh, we used to like a car shared when I worked at HSBC with actually the boy who got to see the night uh, we, and another guy for, for over this side the, the boy I'm seeing the night used to pull some again, horrendous moves getting to cut into the traffic going down to the bridge in the morning we would always be running late like he was always late so we were always chasing our tail when he was driving and uh, I just just some nice. horrendous moves to kind of get in and cut in and uh, Aye, aye, all good, all good. <laughs> anyway, right. Uh, that's that's us. Thanks, well, th- thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, we've got a, like a bit of backlog of questions, and uh, I apologise to uh, to everybody who sent in questions that we've not got. To. Last week, I thought we'd cleared up and, and almost caught up, but uh, actually, somebody, uh, Tom Willis, made a comment to say. Looks like we've given up on the questions, and then I found loads of other oh, questions. Really? So, what, were they were they known the bookmarks, or were they bookmarked and we just never seen them? I think I've been a bit uh, haphazard with my question admin. Uh, Colin, so mm. I've only myself to blame. Like I, I, I would like to blame it on somebody else, but really I can't. Mm. Uh, anyway, right. So we we'll start with one for Tom. Uh, Tom Wallace then it says national anthem. That's the category. Should our anthem be Shang Alang? Uh, it would get everybody singing, I suppose, wouldn't it? Would they be in time, though? Because that's the thing. Oh, like, it'd be danger. The, the timings, the football fans' timings, horrific, isn't it? Like, even even when they pick a, a we, even when we pick another song um, and, and they put hip, they hit my football words to it, the, the, it, you wouldn't know. It was, you wouldn't really know it's the same song again, eh? Because the tempo gets changed. <laughs> it's like, it's never... It's never sang other than me songs get sped up. The only one I can think of the Tottenham Tottenham fans sing uh, what was it they sing? They, they slow it right down. They go really slow when they're singing it. Uh, it's no glory glory. It's like a famous oh, one but oh, when, like oh, when the the Spurs go marching in, is it that they I, go oh, I, when I, oh fuck I, I think it, I think it's, it sounds decent when everybody's doing it, but they're all, but instead of it getting sped up, like Flowery Scotland's fucking an embarrassment when, the, when it's done at Hamden, eh? It's, like, Aye, well, it's all over the place, isn't it? You've got players singing one verse, the crowd on yeah, another one, the piper up in the roof's fucking three verses in. It's, yeah, uh, at the rugby, they, they don't do the, the piper pipes it for the first bit and then they stop. And then, so it's all then everybody's, you've not got the band, you've not got the big band. Aye. To fuck it up, well, not not to fuck it up. Is the band play play properly, right? They're the <laughs> professionals, eh? Um, but you, the, the, you can just sing it at the pace you sing it. At. What would you pick as a national uh, national anthem if you could pick any song? I would, right. So, for, uh, so criteria would it have to be written by a Scottish band or artist? No, I don't know. Would it? I don't feel that precious about that. Okay. Uh, it wouldn't be that one they done. I'm good at the wouldn't be as usually. The, the uh, one, do you remember the World Cup song they done in '98? You don't come home too soon. Oh, that was shit. Sh- <laughs> 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 okay, talking about negativity. Yeah. Um, 
what would I pick? I, I quite like Flurry Scotland if it's done properly. Um, I quite like Scotland. The Braves quite good over the when the, the pipes are doing it properly, but you can't even don't know what the words are. I think well here is that's a here <laughs> comes a Highland granny two big pips <laughs> Mary Fanny. That's right. Well, classic. <laughs> <Karen>. <laughs> <laughs> and the other, the other good song that's done in the pipes, because there's only two or three decent songs with the bagpipes, eh? so there's that one, Flurry Scotland, and oh, is it something Cathedral or something? Oh, I think um, I'm not great on, on songs like that, like, and I think I'm whether you would have something contemporary for your, aye. for your national anthem. But the, but the master plan or something. Aye, or, or mind the uh, what was it the, the Fratellis in two thousand and seven getting belted out of Hamden like that was that gets everybody going oh, something aye. like that do you know Hi- Island Cathedral I think I'm thinking ah, I'm already thinking aye. no there's no words to it though eh? aye. aye um, I'm trying to find the bit in the song it's five minutes here I was going to play it but it's going to take too long um, I don't know what's I don't know because. They're all a bit dirty, eh? I mean, like, the, the, the Italian one and the French one are all right. Like, I'm not saying we should adopt it, but I'm just thinking that kind of... Bounce, I trophy all and I upbeat, aye. and here we go. Because, aye. Uh, you know, it could be a bit, it could be a bit like getting the, the English one and that, like, fucking hell. You know, it's like, who's that many motivate anybody? It's fucking dirty. And they're not, not the only ones. Yeah. Um. No sure, no sure. I never have a proper link about that. Come on, I can never think about it. I'm never going to come up with an answer. Check, check the idea. Eh, nah, check the idea of a national anthem. Stupid. See, like, obviously, never played on a national, right? But I've watched loads of rugby recently. Eh, but well, even the football, it's the same, but the rugby team on recently. And eh, I've watched. You watch the Six Nations and they go out in the warm up and all that, and they come in and then they come back in their tracksuits. The kickoffs at say quarter past two, they're coming mm-hmm. around the pitch about five to two. And you're like, you must, they must just be wanting to get home in the game. And they're shaking hands and they're fucking singing songs, listening to their kind of singing songs. Then some, sometimes you get a wee war dance done, you know, and not, not in the Six Nations, but in the international. Like, fucking hell, like you've warmed up, you've cool fucking bad, then hanging about. I, 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 and I get, oh, yeah, that, you must just go, just go on with the game. But I suppose the actual singing of the national anthem is the bit where you might be thinking about can your family in, in the stands and getting like the pride moment. So you've got that mm-hmm. one minute of pride and you've got fucking 20 minutes of fucking hurry up. Hi, maybe just something so short and punchy. We should write one. We should write one. If anyone wants the commissioners to write yeah, oh my a, new, a new national anthem, we could do that. A chorus and a verse, that's all, all you need. Aye. Yeah. Aye, you could do that. Uh, right, Tom Wallace also asked, Archie Murrow um, is the, the category. Has anyone ever seen Peter Murrow and Archie McPherson in the same room? And he's... Uh, before there's uh, Archie McPherson or Peter Murrow. Like. And Archie McPherson or Peter Murrow. Mm, I, I don't think so. He was doing a good... Uh, Deterrent was, you know, where this is the boot folk off a few years ago when he was uh, actually was doing the uh, not remain, sorry, the no, say no. Ah, the say no. Stuff. Um, right. Next one's from Fattest Prickus, who's tagged as in one who, uh, Twitter account at Rod Hardpan, which is quite a good, uh, good name, isn't it? Mm. If uh, spiders had fingers. Would they have uh, 10 just on the front arms? So, like 10 fingers on the front arms, 80 or uh, 10 each legs, uh, 40 half arms, half legs, or other? Yeah, I think it would have to be. What was the first one? 10? 10. 10, so just on the front arms. So, like, like five fingers on each hand, but just on the front hands, like the front arms, and the other six legs would have. But they would be arms then, but they would, you know. I was thinking, I was thinking they would get one finger per leg. So they'd be eight. Just like a big, it'd be like a big toe on each other. Mm. No, just like, right. so each leg gets one finger attached to it. 
They've got uh, 8 to 10 for each leg, but that would be wrong. Like, it would be 40, 40 times, because you wouldn't have, like, you don't have 10 fingers on one arm. So why would a spider have 10 on, on one That's leg? Right. And and you could argue that if you get any semantics in that, like, a thumb is not a finger, is it? Thumbs up. No. Thumb. Can we say funny with your thumb, right? Because you always consider your thumb as one of your smaller fingers. But, but there's certain ways when you look at your hand and you can see where it yeah. extends into it. Actually, your thumb's fucking big. Uh, that is interesting. <laughs> it's actual factual, isn't it? Um, do you think uh, spiders would be more creative with their webs if they had uh, fingers and thumbs? Or would they I be bothered with webs? Aye. What are webs for? Catch catch flies. For Aye. So they still need that. I think they would just go and catch it with their fingers. If they get chopsticks like in the Karate Kid. He's in the Karate Kid before. Nah. They wait to that. Or try to clap. Catch them like that. Fucker. Aye. Although they wouldn't be Never successful because it's hard to catch a fly like that. No. So maybe the web's the best design for them. Best way to catch a fly is uh, to go a cycle in the summer up a, up a cycle. <laughs> and they'll, they'll just catch them on your mouth, your eyes, your nose a lot. It's, uh, it's why we went up to Loch Ore last summer or the summer before, right? It's Loch Ore Meadows. It's lovely walking that, but it's ruined because as soon as you get there, it, it's fucking... And you, you're like, uh, it's a whole journey going to be like, see, the whole walk is just hours of walking through fucking flies. Yeah. And I'm like, they need to do something about this. That's... That's not a tourist attraction anyway, that's like a... What would you do? Kill them all? So they get a spray every time you enter the, the region? Have like uh, a big industrial strength hoover at mm -hmm. the side. Obviously not not strong enough to suck you into it, but strong enough to pull all the flies in. Yeah. Or that would cost? have somebody to cycle around the laps, but covered in during the fly strips. Uh, the sticky stuff? Aye. Aye. So they could just do what you pay just try, just cycle around and That's your job, mate. Aye, go around and collect them all. That's a guy that maybe be the work, most workable one. I think <laughs> Hoover would probably cost a lot of money. Mind you're talking about boys' wage there, or are we? Aye. Uh, uh, but I, oh, I think the Hoover probably with the price of electricity and that that would be too prohibitively expensive for the distance it would have to cover. Aye, with this, that, yeah. aye a sticky guy on a bike. That's to be fair in Fife, you'd probably find one of them they bother with it, haven't they actually buy the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> buy the material for it. Um Guinness twenty twenty two and the category is airport etiquette. One thing that grinds my gears in airports are those lazy people who just stand motionless on those moving walkways, blocking my speedy progress to the gate. What penalty would be appropriate to stop this selfish practice? It's a good point. Are there many stand? I think, are there many? I think there's signs up. You know, like when you're in the tube in London, it's like stand to the right. Aye, if you're no you moving. Right and bolt yep. on the left. Um, I think there's signs up like that. So there's not to say you have to move, but I think the point is it's meant to make it quicker, not just to be a lazy gun. Like you go on it and you walk, and it's faster than walking. I thought it was so you could put your luggage on it. Do you know, like, so instead of like having to carry luggage or pull your yeah. luggage, you just get on that, you pop, pop your luggage down beside you and you both move at the same speed to the end it. I thought it was to speed it up, to help you to move you faster. Uh, it's a kid, it's a kid your luggage faster is on it is. It is faster. Yeah. Not everybody's yeah. luggage is on wheels. It's still it's a pain in the ass. Okay, what I would do is the punishment. If you were having to punish folk for like that, I would have a point. On the thing, on the it's not an escalator, is it? Because it doesn't, there's no gradient on it, just a travel walkway, later. a travelator. Um, that's for gladiators, isn't it? Mm, that they're on up it. Ready, eh? I would have a point where it stopped, but um, the walls there were like the, 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 the panels and the walls were on rollers, so it looked like you were moving, and, <laughs> and they would just the be reason. standing there going, <laughs> just taking ages. <laughs> <laughs> just that I just am standing still. Uh, like, last call, last call for fair night. Like, <laughs> no, fuck, I've been on this one. How far is it? Check your watch. <laughs> I it could out. have gone backwards on that and then gone this thing. Yeah. Aye. The other punishment would be just to make the lazy can walk. So you're not getting on the other side, mate. Just have a, a yard standing at the end and say, you've been standing still. Fucking walk over there. Yeah. Aye. Aye. Uh, 
But I mean, there should be enough room to get around them. Like, they surely no block of the whole fucking thing. Unless you put the luggage wide then. enough for two, three people. <laughs> but the way luggage goes behind you, yeah, surely. Aye. Or in front, sort of front of you, so you keep if an eye you're on standing it. still. Yep. Aye. Just need some logic here, eh? Just maybe a wee sign up in the airport, just saying this is how you use them. Do you do you use them when they're available, or would you just Aye. walk on the normal um, floor? I use them, and I walk on them. I don't stand still on them. Have you ever been tempted, if you've got like a bit of time to kill, to go on the other end and t- t- take like a treadmill? No. You go no, in the opposite not. direction? No, because usually in an airport there's people about. So ah. I usually try to keep up appearances. You know what I mean? You're not being a total fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what if I, I will be tempted the next time I go down to so take gym kit, take, take gym yeah. kit, change into the gym kit, <laughs> and then I go to the other end. I'll dare one of my daughters. Check, check your watch every now and again in your yeah. pulse. Like, oh, fuck. That's good. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. The, also, for Guinness 2022, it said uh, Space Invaders, uh, how sensitive are the panel to the issue of personal space? What is an acceptable way of politely asking someone to move back a bit? I am. Um... How sensitive you're, you're very sensitive, aren't you? You've spoken to before about cuddles and all that Aye. stuff and folk do that stuff. Um, so what would you do? What would you do? What, what's your your thing on it? Uh, uh, so generally, your I hands would... up in fear, like whoa. So I'll try to think. Like, see, the worst place for it is gigs. Like if you get gigs and you get fucking banging into you, and, uh, and so I, I actually would probably just rather stand where it's a bit quieter, just go, fuck it, it's no worth the hassle, because mm-hmm. I'm old man now. Anyway, like, I need to be down the front for a gig. Um, but the worst thing about that at gigs is when somebody says, excuse me, you like you, you move to let somebody pass, and mm-hmm. instead of going past you, they just stop fucking right in front of you. Yeah. And you're like, oh, you fucking dickhead. Like, I folk do that a lot as well. Mm-hmm. And then you feel the need to kind of go, I'm going in front of them. Mm-hmm. And... It starts to get petty. That's not really answering the question about personal space. That's just me giving an example of something that pissed me off. And then I, I feel like I have to win that then mm-hmm. after it. Um, I, so I, I, try to, I try to position myself like with, with like like a wider gate, if you like, so that nice. they have to kind of naturally move away for you. Uh, that's probably how we would do it. I, I would ask somebody to just move a bit if they were too close. And then they can them. How close is too close? I think if they're if they're touching or if you can't move without banging into them. Right. But places like that, it can like football on that as well can be like that, eh? It's like easy. Aye, so I, I think like in the, there are situations where, you, where it's unavoidable and then you just kinda of accept that that's the mm-hmm. that's the case. But so are, why is it okay there then? Because it's unavoidable. Aye, because they they're probably no meaning to do it either. Like they could avoid they yeah because they can't avoid it. They have to do it. Then you're on the same boat. They're probably no enjoying it either. Mm-hmm. Whereas there are other times where folk would do it, and you think, "The fuck are you? Why are you doing that?" Like, but does it happen that often? I can't really think of that many examples. Of. I'm thinking the only thing that came to me when we were talking about it was. Um, Back in the COVID days, remember them? Nine day heavy Aye. days, uh, 2020 and that, when you're in the queue in Tesco and you're standing a metre and two metres apart. Two metres. A metre and a half. Uh, mind that. That's not safe. Like, <laughs> do you remember? But it was, it was, it was only like two, three years ago, eh? It feels yeah. like a fucking lifetime, really. But you're standing and you're going, oh, there was some kind of standing too long if I can walk by cheese the one. And you're like, Thinking, they're lean rundown. Oh. Can't really lean rundown. You know that that was proper. By the way, that's still an awkward scenario for for me when when somebody's looking at the bit where you're wanting to get to in the shop, yeah. and sometimes I'll just say, "Excuse me, and we'll get it." But other times, like there'll just be a second. I will wait for them, but they take too long. It's fucking. When that happens, there's been times where I've just gone, "Fuck it, I'll come back. I'll go and get something else, and then come back." Really? Aye. Uh-huh. Oh, oh yeah. no, I just lean across if they're but I give them a minute and if they're parting a bit too long, I just sort of lean across and say, Excuse me. Because I, I know I'm going for that pack of butter, that big cheese. It always Aye. seems to be a fridge. Aye, there's always a fridge bit. Mm. Always. Weird that eh? I wonder if it's a fridge bit. Folk get 
we'll get away with what we'll get because of the fridge, but if they're on the normal shelves, they can go and have that pasta or have that tinny beans. It's because of the price things. The folk are wearing up, looking at the different varieties of butter. So if I get that, what am I, yeah. What can I spend my money on later on in the month? Right. That's what it is. <laughs> That's what it is. 60 quid on butter, so we can cancel Sky this month. Or, <laughs> <laughs> or I can get, I can't believe it's not butter, then I'll only have to cancel Netflix. So, uh, all right, Lishi, uh was, uh, he asked the question, do you reckon dogs and cats understand each other or what? And uh, LG and Cow tagged us in that one. So, dogs and cats, do they think they understand each other? No. I think, or do they? I've never really seen a dog and a cat interact. And my mother hates cats. Fucking hates them. But, so maybe she does. And the cat... You've got cats in the street, so that's Tesco outside if you're here in the back. That's right. Is it for you? Aye, uh, it's my Tesco. Oh, so nice I'm one. in here, so, uh, uh, so can I always help me with eBay stuff? And I've got to help get up. I think that's the reason, because they're in the day Tesco with food now. Ah. And that's my wee job. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, we've got cats that walk past here, and they look up to the window, there's room I'm sitting in, like that, the big window Aye. there that I've just put on the screen. And the walk past, look up, at, look up at her as if to say, you got to go fucking mental in a minute and you can't get me in. <laughs> and they walk slowly and look up. So I think the cat is maybe more... They understand each other in that the cat knows it's got to set her off and she knows she fucking hates them. But that's as far as the understanding goes. We've uh, we have a cat that walks along our back fence and if, if Bailey clocks, if Bailey normally only just focuses on eye level... He's no like if if it's up there, he can go for ages before he clocks it. But when he clocks it, he can my dogs get the zoomies. Uh-huh. They kind of if your dog gets the zoomies, but they just fucking just bounce about the place. Uh-huh. You'll do a laps in the fucking garden and go back to the bit of the fence that the cat's at, look up at it, wait a second, and then go fucking laps, lap, oh, lap, 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 uh-huh. and then go back. And the cat literally just sits there going, you're a fucking stupid prick. Okay, <laughs> just sit, it's, it's no bother that it's backside, just watches him and goes, oh, I'm kind of funny. And be like, yeah. I can't round and round and round like that. But I don't know if they understand each other, like, as such. No, got a dog and a cat in the same house here right now, so. Well, the, the only thing I can think where there's where there's clear evidence that they do and it's for the uh, the documentary about Garfield. If you remember that, he could talk to, understood his owner and the dog Odie. Um, so, and I'm pretty sure that was factual. Aye, that's a true story. I think based on based on real events or something like this. Speaking of based on the real events, we went to see Cocaine Bear uh, last week. Okay, if you've uh, if you've heard of cocaine bear, I've heard it. I've never seen it. Somewhere, somewhere. I've got a, I've got access to it. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's good. It's shite, but it's good. Okay, one of these ones where it's a, uh, so bad it's funny. There's a couple of bits that you just go fuck it in hell, like uh, the cocaine acting almost like um, spinach for Popeye. If you remember <laughs> uh, the Popeye <laughs> cartridge. <laughs> Um, anyway, I think we're out of time. I forgot to set the timer. I'm just trying to kind of oh. gauge whether or not we oh, were, uh, oh, whether we've we've run out of time. I'm trying to think when we started, we're about twenty five past seven. I think we started just before seven, eh? so oh, aye. Aye, definitely enough. We're, uh, we we have, have run out of time. So uh, thanks very much for tuning in. By the way, we um, went past four hundred thousand listens on the podcast this uh, this month, oh. which is uh, which is not not for the month. Like that would be. Um, just a, that just would be insane. But no, no, not for the years since we started back in <laughs> when I was 2019, was it? Mm. Something like that. Aye, uh, often, aye, so thanks very much if you're one of those 400,000 listeners, uh, which you will be or, if you're hearing this. Or if you're one of the four people that have listened 100,000 times. Aye. Aye. Should it's, uh, should it's the first one, eh? <laughs> we'll go with that. Um, we also uh, hit a landmark this week, uh, this week for being a year on uh, Hubwave as well. If you're not sure what Hubwave is, that's where you can subscribe uh, to the podcast and you get extra content. If you look on our Twitter, we did put out a couple of our subscriber-only episodes, like all gins, for folks to go and get a wee taster. So there was a uh, extra time, which was for long bangers, all about whether or not you should stick with a manager or no. 
uh, make that sound exciting, eh? And there was a short bangers extra with uh, Sam Delaney from off the Top Flight Time Machine on it as well, which was well worth checking out. Um, you get to see that inside the video modular for anybody that listens to that as well, eh? Yeah, that's, do. The, that's a big draw for it. Eh? Anyway, aye, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you next time. Well, the trail me down when I broke free. I drank all the whiskey in Tennessee. I don't drink water, no.